I am here to recap our trip. So happy that you came with us. You guys get yourself a first class ticket and a first class seat to come to Amin Yara. The trip was amazing, but let's get down to like, how do I really feel about it? Okay, I just got rid of my kids and now it is time to hit the spa. This place looks magical. sensitivity test. This is a machine that actually measures frequencies and electrical signals in the body and every food gets off a unique um, frequency or signature and what this machine does it'll replicate that same signature blueberries, apples, you name it and then you're gonna see how it responds with your body so generally speaking when I do the testing you want to make sure everything is balanced. If I don't find it balanced it means there could be a food intolerance. I just don't understand how the machine can do that. So have you ever heard of acupuncture? Yeah, of course. So acupuncture uses 12 meridian lines to increase chi within the body. Okay. All we're doing is we're passing a small trickle of electricity through these same meridian lines from one end, this is a gold, gold conductor, and the other end here on my manual pen. And once we connect and make a connection, we get a reading. You Isn't don't even feel cool? it. You don't even feel it. It's so awesome. And All so, right, let's do it. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna hold one in this hand. Okay. Hold this in the other hand. Perfect. Beautiful, so 72. So many times when the reading is a little low, we're gonna spray a little bit of water as this is electricity. It creates, yes, perfect. It creates things a little bit more conductive with the surface of the skin. So 72 is low. Uh, it's not too low. Generally speaking, I, for this specific pre-check, I wanna be between 75 and 85. There we go. So we know that you're a little dehydrated in the sun, there's heat, we're sweating, that's all it is. So I'm gonna show you guys as well. So these are some of the vials that I use to help with the testing. Being that everything is, is all electrical equipment and gives off a frequency, this, as soon as it touches that, it makes a connection. So what I'm doing is I'm basically asking the machine the question. I mean, as long as coffee's not on my list. <laughs> I just took a food sensitivity testing with Ryan here, and we're gonna see what I'm intolerant to. Is that the word? That's correct. These are so. We have coffee, we have alcohol. So anything in the red means the body's intolerance. At the beginning, we have some more chemicals, dyes, MSG, things of that sort. So we have some chocolate, soy sauce, and then we get down to some. Wait, alcohol. wait! I can't do soy sauce. Soy sauce? No, unfortunately not. I love soy sauce. There are soy sauce alternatives. Have you looked into those before? Like Bragg's? Um, Liquid Aminos? I, I, I don't know the, I'm gonna find out, but I know my friend used to get, he'd bring his own soy sauce and it wasn't soy based. Doing a little in-house dining okay, this evening. It. Sorry. This I is, just, I just, I just ooh, is that cow chill pepe? I only want to cut. What do you got? Pizza. Yum. All right, we're doing some in-room dining. And then we're going to the cinema. We booked the cinema this evening and we actually invited a bunch of kids that we met on the beach. So Lennon could have some friends and Rio could have some friends. So we are going to watch everyone's kids while they go and have a dinner tonight. Jesse almost good. Mmm, girl. I was trying to do this. This sounds delicious. Be our guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. Da, 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 da. What are you looking at? <gasps> Don't put my pants down. If any of you have kids who watch Miraculous, this song is for them and they will completely understand. Adrian is blind. What? Marinette's madly closeted. Don't leave us! What the heck? Wait, listen to my song! No, wait, wait, we're gonna get left. Listen to my song! We gotta go. We got to go. Well, no, to wait! <laughs> Be all guests. All right, we're off to the movie theater. Guys, it feels amazing out here! All right, let me sing the song now. No, no singing. Just me. It's just about your mother. This is a little bit of a hot mess. Let me call you when, let me call you. Let me, let me get back to you when I get back to the theater. Theater, cinema. We're at movie night and my wife ran off and left me with the camera. 
so she could get the snacks. And this not only happens here at movie night, it happens at every movie night. And she will tell you a story actually one time of what happened one of our first dates with the snacks. Because she does this all the time. What do I do all the time? What do you got? <laughs> what do you got? What do you got? Part. Hey, what's going on, London? Hi, Henry. Henry, what up? Hi, Henry. Uh, you can keep the wrap. Here. This is my wrap. No, no, no. What food do we have? Come on, break it down. Here? Yeah, the wrap. Because you said break it down. Here? We got pop -pop -pop popcorn, pop -pop -pop popcorn, pure, dark chocolate bars, creamy milk chocolate bars, dark chocolate, sea salt caramel, organic berry, vegetables, okay, gummy listen. bears, gummy bears, and jumbo cashews. And on the other side, We've got chocolate chip cookies, sugar cookies, oatmeal cookies, cookie 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 are you leaving now? I got half your head, like, for most of this video. But you have nice legs. Thank you. Look at Rio, an entire thing of gummy bears. Uh, I got it myself. No, 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 no. Kids are in the movie theater. Crumbled up and shoved into your pants. Ignore her, Louis. She thinks she's smarter than me. You can't really see in here, but I'm actually the adult on duty, and I have... One, two, three, four, five, six, six kids. So I have to go now. So I can be present. Good morning. Last day in paradise. I already got on my bikini because that's how I get down. The family is eating outside. Lennon, what are you having? French toast. Having some French toast. What are you having? Um, cereal. With what? Um, nothing. Cereal with no milk. Mm -mm. I'm having eggs. You're having eggs. Did you get those croissants? I totally forgot. Off to the beach club. Last day in paradise. We're about to go sailing and head up to the beach before we check out. It's nice and quiet. It's super early. It's about 9 a.m. It's not that early, I guess you can say, but pretty early. Lennon is wearing a bikini today. She's feeling herself. I was like, I will allow it. I will allow it today, girl. You can do your thing. I will not say a word. <gasps> Look at this beach, guys. Oh, so sad we have to leave. Last day, and I am trying to snorkel. Why do I need these fins, London? They help you with pasta. I mean, but I can't really go anywhere because of Rio. London is showing me around the ocean because she snorkeled all the way out here the other day with the SEEK program at Amanura. on top of it, are you? I have before. No way. Yes, I have. I'm not swimming on top of that. Okay, I will. No, don't swim on top of it. Not Why? I'm worried. Oh my God. 
Mom, I mean, <laughs> what did they do? <laughs> what did they do it? Oh my yeah. God! Let's, get, let's just stay around it. You're too scared. Do you want to go back? I'm not going all the way out here. There's some right there. Nah, nah, nah. Let's just stay right here. Jeez. Nah, I don't get down like that. Girl from Brooklyn. I'm not testing my limits. Let's just chill. Right where I can see the ground. Bizak. Please don't mind that my family is screaming. We're all back home and trying to function. I'm exhausted. I don't know if you can tell. Look into my face, but I am exhausted today and vacation is over and I am back to reality. Sad news, these braids are coming to an end. I don't know if I told you guys this or not, but I got a few of them done over in the front just because they were getting super frizzy, which was kind of the vibe, you know? It's like summer beach, boho, Lisa Bonet vibe. Um, so I didn't mind that they were frizzy, but I think they're starting to like, I don't know, kind of nat up. <laughs> so um, I think it's time for me to take them out, but that is not what this is about. I am here to recap our trip. The trip was amazing, but let's get down to like, how do I really feel about it? So I had a lot of questions about the price. A lot of you definitely went straight to go look at the resort and I get it. You had to like check out how much is this resort. Now it is a luxury resort and I do wanna say Amans are known for being very luxurious, like top of the top. Um, and I've never stayed in Amman before and it was definitely on my bucket list. So I already kind of knew going in that it was gonna be a bit pricey. Is it worth the money? I do think so. I think that they went above and beyond. I think the accommodations were really, really fantastic. I think the scenery, everything was just so breathtaking. It was relaxing. I came there to relax with my family and that's what you're gonna get. You're going to be able to relax. Property is phenomenal. The, the beach is probably, that was probably one of my favorite beaches. That beach and, a, and a, this beach in Cuba, absolute two favorite beaches. I've never been to a more beautiful beach. The fact that they had so many activities for the kids was great. The fact that we could drop the kids off or do a movie in the movie theater was fantastic. So do I think it's worth the price? Absolutely. Taxes and fees were a little, they were a little tough. But I do think it's worth it, especially if it's something like a honeymoon or you're celebrating a special occasion. Or if you're like me and just taking one holiday for the summer, I say go for it. Go for it, girl. You're going to love it. Memories forever. Second question was about the food. As far as the food goes, I thought the food was good. I don't think it was mind-blowing. Again, love this resort. It's not a deal breaker for me. I like the fact that they have like this beach restaurant situation and every day they change the menu. So for example, I think Saturdays are, sorry if I keep playing with my hair, but I gotta get it together. I think Saturdays are Indian night or Sundays were Indian night. Everybody kept raving about Indian night, but unfortunately we left right before that because we left on a Friday. But they have Italian night, Mediterranean night, etc., which I thought was really cool just because if you're staying in a resort and you're not, we didn't go off the resort. You can, obviously you can. But you know, with the kids and everything, kind of like moving them around, I was like, this is just so much easier. Fries, the fries are like the skinny, the skinny yummy fries. Those fries were good. And so were their sweet potato fries. Highly recommend their tacos, their fish tacos during, um, during lunch. And they make a good frosé. Frosé? Rosé? <laughs> they make a really good frozen rosé <laughs> on the beach. So I highly recommend that. By the way, I'm asking myself these questions. I'm just, I'm trying to remember what people were asking me on 
Instagram. So some of these I probably made up, but I just wanted to fill you in. Um, what surprised me about the resort is how large it was. I really was not expecting it to be as large as it was and like us having to have the golf cart. I mean, I looked at the property online, but I promise you, pictures don't do this place justice. It is the most breathtaking place I've ever been to. But the fact that they had soccer fields, a bocce ball, horseshoeing, I don't even know how to play horseshoeing, but I'm like, it can't be that hard, right? We just throw the horseshoe. The tennis, like the tennis was amazing. The tennis coach was great. They even have a tennis clinic that you can drop the kids off, which is nice. They have a Pilates studio with like all the apparatus and all of that. And then they have boxing. So they also have schedules of fitness, like through scheduled throughout the day, usually in the mornings and stuff. Like on Thursdays at nine, there is like yoga or and you are more than welcome to go to those places at no additional charge. The spa, the spa was so amazing. I had a really fantastic treatment with this guy, Ryan. I was his first client and I thought that I was going to get a massage, but what he did was he aligned my body. So he makes you stand there. Um, so I'm in a robe, he makes you stand in front of him barefoot and he checks out like your your alignment of your body and then he gets on the floor and literally he looks at your feet he looks how they curve and they turn and he will and immediately he said your hips are not aligned like one is starting to shift a bit and it was very interesting because when i walk i can feel how tight around my hip area is and it won't open up and I found myself like starting to kind of like walk a little bit differently and I think it's because I work out so much and I don't stretch enough and everything in general right and then I my, for some reason like at the computer or even when I had real like breastfeeding my posture became really bad so he's like also doing so many push-ups and stuff my shoulders and everything are starting to move forward um and he's like and it's kind of a struggle so he's like basically like your back is kind of like hey i want to stand up straight but your shoulders are moving forward right so they're kind of and what happens is that you end up getting knots in your back just to kind of stop it from the tug of war that it's going through so he aligned my shoulders as well so he aligned my my shoulders my posture was so much better like Im you immediately noticed a difference so I thought that it was like gonna be massage based, but what happens is like he really digs into certain parts of your muscle. Like for example, into the stomach, he like digs. One out of 10 on pain threshold, I was about a seven. And he was like, if you know, if it's really unbearable, please let me know. But you can feel like, you could just feel things shifting in your body, but for, for the good. So he was just such an amazing experience and he also did my food allergy test, my food sensitivity test. In this test, it's like things that inflame you, foods that um, inflame your body because obviously like our bodies are not a one size fits all. What I eat is probably not good for you and vice versa. So I was trying to see if I had any foods that I just don't go well with my body. And it was really interesting because it was apple cider vinegar and a few other things. but. I tried to drink apple cider vinegar in the mornings, um, maybe about a year or two ago, just to kind of like cleanse my system. And it would always make my stomach hurt so badly. And I couldn't figure it out. I'm like, isn't this supposed to be great for gut health? But come to find out it actually inflames me and ended up making me bloat. So foods that really make me bloat, like soy sauce. So after I eat sushi, I always bloat out. And I'm like, I'm someone who loves rice and I can eat rice. So I, I'm like, what, what is it? And then come to find out, lo and behold, it's the, the soy sauce. Now I'm not saying this test is end all be all. However, it just was very intriguing because the, the things that he talked about were the things that really do, when I eat them, bloat me out and it kind of bothers me. <gasps> you know what was on this list? Please guess what was on this list. And I was very upset it was on this list. If you can think of it, I'm waiting. Drop it down below. Okay, are you ready? Guess what was on this list? coffee <laughs> i drink coffee every freaking morning like every freaking morning i have to have a coffee he was like no no your system doesn't go well with coffee however i can drink decaf but regular coffee bloats me out and messes it inflames my stomach isn't that interesting but i'm gonna find his info and i'm gonna leave it in the description box because i thought he was fascinating like i can go into this all day like we were talking so much he he recommended like this new book i you know what you know i go into tangents we could talk about this another time but all in all do i recommend 
Amen Yara. Absolutely. Definitely am going back next year. They can have all my coin. Take it. Take my coin because I am bringing my family back to this resort every single year. What's crazy about these properties is that Amman is like the main like umbrella. There's so many other properties under this umbrella, under the Amman umbrella. And I think they own almost going to be 40 properties in 22 different countries. I want you guys to take, if you're not familiar, please go take a look at Amangiri. It's in Utah and it's more like a Zen spa-like. Me and Angela have been dying to go. <laughs> the rooms were pricey so Angela and I were like you know we share rooms all the time so me and Angela were like okay we gotta share a room but then when we saw the price because it was high season we we're like we might need to get one more person in the room with us maybe a fourth party in one room <laughs> in one smaller room and get a rollaway bed <laughs> Hopefully Angela and I can celebrate something nice and go on a girl's trip to Amangiri. Love to take you guys with us and just like do like a full out really nice girl's trip and like hit the spa, have really great, just have a good time. So anyways, nevertheless, I just want to say thank you so much for always supporting me, watching my videos, always commenting. I think that you guys are absolutely amazing sometimes you guys come and check on me on instagram please make sure that you follow me on instagram scout the city but uh especially some of you who have been with me since the start i mean it's been what like four years now right time time is flying when you're having fun but nevertheless i have to get in the shower i'm gonna order a pizza for the kids i'm gonna have a movie with rio and i am going to get out of here so enjoy your saturday have a beautiful saturday and if you're new here guess what if you think i'm a vibe make sure you subscribe like this video comment down below and i am going to see you guys on wednesday deuces okay here we go you have to drive on this on the wrong side you ready See? See why you gotta be careful? I am a wonderful driver, darling. Let's put the pedal to the metal! I didn't know you are a car. I'm a runner, I'm a track star. She's a runner, she's a track star. Yes! Girl, you're driving on the rocks. I'm not, though. Here? Oh god, I'm almost <laughs> falling. <laughs> I almost fell. <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs> Rod and dirty. We successfully made it home. And my mom just bumped into a bike. She is such a good driver.